Okay, now what we need to do is we need to make a menu system so that one can move between these two sites just with hyperlinks so that actually so that one can move between these two web pages so that it actually forms a website. So you can decide whether you want to do it at the bottom or at the top. Either way, it just has to be consistently at the same place. So actually, I think I'm going to move that line that I made for the hyperlink and rather make that the bottom dividing line to have my navigation system at the bottom so that one can recognize that's where it's going to be every time. So then I'll put the two names in of the two um, pages. So I'll just call it home page and conclusions or conclusion. Okay, there you go. And I will align this in the middle. Okay, if you also want that dividing um, straight up line that's close to your enter or your backspace usually. Um, or you can just put two stars in the middle. That also usually looks, looks nice. And now what you need to do is you need to make a link on both of these. You'll see I put both of the names in. I didn't just put one. It's not as if they take away the link to the home page because you are on the home page. Okay. So I'm going to put a link for both of them on now. And I'm going to link to the actual page name. So I've got the page names at the top here in the tabs. And it's very important that I only link to the page name and not to the whole folder. Because if the teacher marks this, then it's not going to be in the same folder. It's not going to be in the same file path because it will be on a different computer. So I can only refer to the file name in my href. Okay, now you'll see I can actually click and I can go to the home page. Nice, hey? Right, so what I need to do is I need to put those same links, the same link system onto the other page as well. So I'm going to copy that whole lot that I've made, including the line onto my index page. Now let's see if I go to home page, there you go, and I can click back to conclusion. Now if you want, it's up to you, but if you want, you can take away the link to conclusion while you're on conclusion and take away the link to the home page while you're on home page. That's completely up to you, but at least have the word there. You can't not have the word there. So that's what that would look like. I don't know, I actually prefer the other one. All right, lastly, very, very last thing that we have to do, then we are done with our website, is we need to give, or we need to add two extra tags that's outside of the curriculum for extra marks. Okay, all right, so if you want to go and look for, um, Tags, you can go to W3 Schools. And if you look on the first page, Learn HTML, go down a little bit, you'll see there's one called HTML Tag Reference. And there they've actually got all the different tags that you can use. Okay, so um, abbreviation is nice to define an abbreviation or an acronym. Now, the ones that I quite like is I like using site for the actual citations. So then you just put site in front and after um, each citation. Now, um, the one that I said earlier that I use to indent the text is called block quote. Now, actually, you just use it for a specific section. Let me just show you what I mean by that. So block quote, um, I'm going to do it on this part over here. Okay, plant placement. So if I just do that, you'll see it's actually indented it on both sides. Okay, but instead of doing it just around a single paragraph, if I do this and I put it right after body, 
So right at the top, right after body. And I end it right before the end of body. Then it indents the whole page so that you have that bit of white space on the side, which always looks a bit nicer. Okay, that's quite a nice trick. So site block quote you can use. There you already have two. Um, otherwise, uh, for figures, you can use that. Um, footer, to put in a footer of the page is nice. Um, another one would be small. There's one for to put in small text. To find smaller text. All right. But have a look here. There's quite a lot that you can play around with. Uh, but you have to have two extra tags to get your last two marks. And that is it. We are done with the pad, people. Hooray! Give a hooray!